Hi, Alfonso here with Go Engineer. Today we're going to look at different ways to compare file versions in PDM. This capability is built into PDM Professional, and so we're going to be using the PDM Professional application in order to show you this. What we're going to do first is we're going to talk about the most common file that we use in PDM, that is CAD files and some Microsoft Office files. I'm going to pick specifically into part files, and drawings, and Word documents to show you what we can do in PDM Professional. So let's go ahead and go into SOLIDWORKS. This um, capability that I was mentioning to you, it's actually split into two different parts. The first part, you're gonna find it in SOLIDWORKS itself. The second part, we're gonna find it in PDM Professional. So I have a part in here, a wrench open for you, and I have several versions that I like to compare together. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on Tools, and under Tools, we'll go to Compare. Under Compare, you can see in here, the Compare Documents. Now, you might be familiar with this, um, with this option in here to be able to uh, see different documents and modify documents and be able to compare them together. But the nifty thing about this is that you can use it also to compare different versions within SOLIDWORKS PDM. And that's the option in here, so I'm going to check into that box. And that's going to let me choose which version of this file I want to compare together. In this case, I want to do 5 and version 4. Um, one brief thing I want to show you is how to configure this so that it can work better to your advantage. If you click on that button right there, it will give you the compare options. We have a few things in here that we can change. As you can see, we can change the units or the tolerance, depending on however we would like it to be seen. We can also change the features in here and make the colors to work however we please the colors to be. In this in this scenario, what I like to do is I like to keep my unique features as red, and that way they highlight very well, and anything that is a modified feature will keep it in yellow. Same thing for geometry. We can check and see what colors are we going to be using for each one of the different variations in geometry. It's just a few of those colors that we can change, and we can modify. And finally, how we want to do the report. In this case, I want to do the, just the current view. I don't want to modify anything else. Going back into our compare tool, we're going to look at the features and geometry, and we're going to run the comparison. Now, what the comparison will do is it's going to split the screen into two parts. The first part will have one of the versions of my file, and the second one will have the other one. And what it does, and this is really nice, is that if I were to rotate one of them, it will rotate both of them at the same time. It will allow me to be able to have that same view no matter what. I can always zoom in or zoom out, it will give me the same idea. <clears throat> now what I would like to do is I'd like to show you here some of the compare reports that we have. The first one is just some parameters. It will show you the size of the files and compare them one to another. It will also tell you when is the last time that we saved them. And it will give you some other information such as the mass, the volume, and so forth. Great feature, but what we would like to do is we would like to get a visual of what's happening. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on that second tab to look at the features. And that is where the magic happens. We can see how in one of the parts I have a missing section and in the other one it's not. And again, those are the colors that I chose beforehand. And it will give me here a side-by-side -side comparison on the different features that I'm using and which ones are not being used or have been changed. The third tab in here will show me the geometry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, you see the little icon in here, the eye icon. Uh, it will allow me to be able to highlight what I want to see. So let me get rid of everything but the material to be removed. Notice the difference in there. And so we want to just look at the material that was added. Or if we just want to look at the common volume or a mixture of the three. Next, we have the face comparison. In this case, it will give you a count on the different, in the different faces and it will break it down into three parts. The unchanged faces, the unique ones and the modified ones. And again, I can always highlight which ones I want to be visible and which ones I want to hide. Well, the very same functionality applies to drawings. However, we're going to show you how this works for, from the PDM perspective to compare the Word documents. Going into the administration tool for PDM, and under, once you log in, 
under users, if you right click on users, you'll be able to see the settings. If you click on settings, you'll have the settings uh, admin window and underneath that, in the very middle, you'll find the file compare. If you click on file compare, you'll be able to see that in this section, let me get rid of this so you can see it from the very top, we can change this and modify however we would like to make the comparison. Now, we, what we need to do in here is we need to specify which type of file we want to use for the comparison and that will be done through the extensions and also we like to specify which pathway we're going to use to find the application that will help us to do the comparison. In this case, I'll be using Microsoft Word and I'm creating a macro. So let's go ahead and look at setting up the macro first and then going back to the PDM uh, tool so that you can see how the comparison will work. We'll click on macros and underneath macros I can type in there the type of macro that I want to create. In this case we're going to call it compare and we're going to make sure that it applies to all active templates and documents and we're going to click on create. At this point we have the Visual Basic application coming up and I already have the code that I ha wanted to show you already typed up so allow me to change this and just copy and paste. There we go. Now notice it's very simple, very short. It's just telling us that there's two different types of files. We're going to call the first one file one, the second one file two, and then we're going to make the comparison between the two of them. I'm going to save this, and we can minimize that section. Once we have that set up, what we would like to do is start setting up the PDM side of things. We're going to go to add. And here we're going to type the two different file extensions for Word. And here's the important section. This is where the path and the arguments are going to go. Now this might look a little bit intimidating at first, uh, but it's actually not that complicated. So the first thing we want to do is we want to browse to the path where the Word executable file is located. Now this might change depending on the different installation that you might have done in your own computer. So let me show you what I have and then we can take it from there. Once we located the executable, we go ahead and, cl and click open, and there it is. Now the important thing is to put this within those symbols. And then we're going to add the argument. So we have argument 1 and 2 because we have two files to compare, after which we're going to add special code. And this is what makes it so that PDM knows that we're using a macro within it, in this case called compare. We click OK and we save. We're ready to go. Now we move on to the File Explorer. Under the File Explorer, I'm going to find the files that I like to compare. In this case, I have already a Word document I like to use. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the history first. And we're going to look and see what's the history on that file. And then notice that we have a couple versions in there that we can look at. Version 1, and I'm going to highlight version 2. And then we're going to look at the compare. Once that I click on compare, it will fire up Word and it will help us out to see what the changes that have been made. In the right hand side, you'll see the two different Word documents open. Here's the original, here's the one with the change. And then in the middle, you can see the combined documents with a highlight on what has been that has been changed. And on the left hand side, just a few uh, highlights on what those revisions are. What was deleted, what was inserted, and what else did it change. I didn't change much in there, but you can easily see how you can compare two documents uh, as needed. And so that's how we use the compare functionality within PDM Professional. If you'd like to learn more, you may contact us at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.